Every explorer names his island Formosa, beautiful. To him, it is beautiful because, being first, he has access to it and can see it for what it is. But to no one else is it ever as beautiful, except the rare man who manages to recover it, who knows that it has to be recovered. <laughs> I have been visiting the island nation of Sri Lanka ever since I was four years old. Both of my parents were born in Sri Lanka, and they wanted me to have a strong connection and understanding of my heritage. When I was little, my mom made a promise to her best friend to bring her children to Sri Lanka so that we wouldn't be like the other American kids that she'd seen in the past who just came to Sri Lanka and acted like all of the other foreigners did, visiting resorts and just exploring the tourist destinations. Although we were guilty of doing the touristy things, I can say that I have been fortunate enough to see both sides of Sri Lanka. I was often asked about where I was from when I was younger. I used to respond New Jersey, until I realized that they weren't asking about where I was born and raised, they were really asking about why I was different, where my brown skin was from. As I grew older, my answer shifted. The response became, I was raised in New Jersey, but my parents are from Sri Lanka. When I went to Sri Lanka, I was pegged as different there too, because of my accent and the way that I dressed. I saw myself as neither a tourist nor a local. My parents did everything that they could to help me understand both parts of who I am, the American and the Sri Lankan. I was told stories about Sri Lanka and my parents' childhood, and those were the stories that I found to be the most interesting. When we visited my parents' hometown, the capital of Sri Lanka, Colombo, we never stayed in hotels. We stayed in the house that my mom grew up in. She helped to make her stories come to life, and my connection to Sri Lanka grew even stronger. Although we visited the resorts, I was also taught about how truly fortunate I was by visiting Sri Yasodhara Devi Girls Home, an all-girls orphanage located just 20 minutes outside of Colombo. When I was little, my parents would take my sister and I there to show us how other children lived and how lucky we were to have two parents that took care of us and loved us. I did not necessarily understand why they were there, but I always enjoyed meeting the children and could at least see that I was lucky. As I grew older, it started to take a turn from my parents taking me there to me asking when we were going to go back again. I would send my birthday and Christmas money to feed them for a meal. In return, they would pray for me. They taught me a lot more than I ever would have expected. But a short time after I returned home, I was guilty of falling back into my old pattern, quickly forgetting about how much I had learned from them just a few weeks before. Mama Maha Gota Sumitta Silmanyo. Mama Maha Nooni Aurud Dhaayidi. Mama Digriya Kale Javadrumra Campus. Eka Hale Eti Mata Sittana Situ Villa Kanu Tamai Mama Me Vedi Riyatma Ka Kale. E Anu Mama Trikuda Amale Khantali Pradesh Yeti Giyya Eh, atau lagi, dalam tu nak kita kata, na, itu ada pura trustwa ada ingin, perdesi ini pilihan tidak kalah. Mata ini camp ini kita pelamai dia ada kahama, ada waktu kan kita kampa apa lagi ya, me, macam gula kapi dengan kolam hiti lapir pain naya mewah, me repiti camp ini kerjio titra ini duka kanan kita tu pain, mantir naya kalah me, mangkar me samaja sebiar tu meka sambandh kerja nama kita la, kita agat ta.
මම ගත්ත අධ්‍යාපනය නිසාත් අනුන්ට සේවය කරන්න කැමති නිසාත් කවුරුත් කරන්නේ නැති වැඩපිළිවෙලක් මම පටන් ගත්තේ. සිට අද දක්වා මම දෙමළ සිංහල ක්‍රිස්තියන් මුස්ලිම් ඔය හැම ළමයින්ම මගේ ළඟ හැදුන වැඩනවා. ඒ වගේම ඉතින් අද දක්වා මම ඒ ඒ කණ්ඩේ හැමෝටම උදව් කරන දැනුත් ඒ ආහා ඒ තමයි කොහොම සම්බන්ධ වෙන්නේ ඇතුලේ. වගේ වැඩ වෙන්නේ මනම තමයි I came to Sri Yasodhara in an attempt to showcase the girls who have taught me such valuable life lessons. I recently realized that not many tourists venture outside of the tourist sanction zones to experience the little pieces of a country that makes it unique and beautiful. We are all guilty of it. We take the same photos and visit the same places because this is our duty as a tourist. Instead of seeing the country through fresh eyes, we view it through the lens of tourists past. It was not until I was there interviewing these girls that I realized how much we had in common. I had always focused on the fact that they were less fortunate than I was. I lost sight of my childhood perception of them, the idea that they were just kids like me. We would get into trouble for the same things and we had the same interests. We really weren't that different. Okay. I'm Shamila Dilhani. I'm uh, 19 years old. <laughs> I was here for 10 years. I'm studying eight subjects: I, uh, English, accounts, English, uh, English literature, Sinhala, business studies, biology, computer. Uh, my favorite subject is accounts. Um, I want to be a <laughs> business woman. Uh, my hobbies are. dancing and singing i usually read books story books like uh, novels adventures uh, short stories um yeah i like to hang out with my friends chatting <laughs> um, i like to eat uh, pizza um i like to watch tv sometimes i get caught because uh, she doesn't like uh, when we are watching tv because the uh, exams are near so i always get caught <laughs> when i was little i would like she said i would put on the tv and then i would see her car coming i would watch <laughs> and one time i didn't hear her coming and she she took away the tv then <laughs> all i wanted to do was watch tv but now I'm majoring in film so that's what I tell her <laughs> it's a good thing I watch TV so. even though we have the same favorite food and similar interests it is hard to believe the difference in circumstances under which we were raised although we have the same positive outlook on life one would not believe the difference in our backgrounds i thought i felt constricted in my 3 square mile affluent town while they are literally confined by barbed wire topped walls it is hard to believe how similar we are when on paper we seem so different that I would be traveling to the eastern province of Sri Lanka for the first time while there I immediately asked to visit an orphanage we never visited the eastern province for safety reasons due to several decades of civil war that had been in that area after many years of visiting Sri Yasodhara Devi I was interested in seeing this area of Sri Lanka not only as a tourist I came to meet the girls of Holy Family Girls Home not knowing what to expect my inner Taurus kicked in. I immediately assumed that Holy Family would be just like Sri Yasodhara, if not worse, because of the war. I didn't think about the fact that this was on the opposite end of the country and that things could be completely different. 
Father Crichton uh, here uh, at uh, Holy Family Girls Home here at Jayantipuram, Batik Law. This home was originally started uh, after tsunami uh, and this uh, building was built uh, with the help of uh, Hope Outreach uh, UK. If I say something about the children here, uh, the children from different background, you will see those who are staying here. Mostly children, those who are affected by war. I will find some orphans here or semi-parent uh, children. Um, and also uh, some children, those who have less facilities in their villages, they have come here to study. Education is the main concern for these children. Coming from abroad, we automatically assume that we need to send clothes and books. And although these are all helpful things, education is what will make a difference in their lives. It is the little things, like the van to get these girls to school, or the cost of their education, that will truly make a difference. Looking back, I now realize that I ignored the fact that I was going to the opposite end of the country. And although I knew that these girls would be of a different ethnicity, I was still somewhat surprised when I met them. They spoke another language, they looked different, and they grew up in a completely different environment with room to run and play. But in the end, they had the same interests and aspirations as the girls on the opposite end of the country. I'm Sasa Gita. I'm in charge of this girl's home. At the moment, we need a kitchen because we don't have enough place. Lodge we can give the shelter and all. It's all right. For the food, we need some help. Sri Lanka na apre gula kudau karna yeh nenga har paan vage gina dinu amu inge gina dinu ma apy ka pir mahal veil dehe ka ekka katke na utman deka ke ko koma hari hada garna light bill gevan no na apy vatru bill gevan no telephone bill gevan no na ito kotla magi school vayan ne kate rupeeal visiyat da ha kitra maas ekate yana ma eva karan no na de me patang gan ma mata kar dary akun na gorna gili hada na kar dary akun na kis de akun na de maintain karke ne yani kato me pras me bhi. Nowadays, we find it is not that easy to run a home like this. Of course, we got uh, some uh, the buildings as such from uh, different people after tsunami, construction, uh, infrastructure facilities. But the, the running cost is one of the major issue at the moment uh, we find. Although these girls may be at a disadvantage in life, they are all aspiring to make a difference no matter how big or small their dream may be. They want to make a difference and better their community. How many of us can truly say the same? They see themselves as fortunate, while we, as tourists, assume that we must pity them instead of taking the time to get to know them and understand their lives.
place like this we don't we not only we give kind of education but also some kind of motivation uh, we give them and uh, how they have to come out uh, with and uh, how they have to build up their future in sa mama ithin kalpana karana mata satutui vivaha vela giya lamai atrat lamai dahasak dan mehe istane pita vela gihinti e wageema denata me australia ave eka lamai ekinna api new zealand e thawa lamai ekinna e gulo degree ekale he Uh, one day I want to be an aircraft engineer and work for NASA to be a French teacher. Police. <laughs> I want to become a bank manager. Teacher again. Teacher again. Nurse. I like to become a teacher. Travel teacher again. Teacher again. Doctor again. English teacher. I want to become teacher. Doctor again. Walker Percy once wrote, Every explorer names his island Formosa. Beautiful. To him, it is beautiful because... Being first, he has access to it and can see it for what it is. But to no one else is it ever as beautiful, except the rare man or woman who manages to recover it, who knows that it has to be recovered. Before this, I didn't realize that there was anything that needed to be recovered. I saw no issue in my relationship to Sri Lanka. But it is only now that I understand that the necessary recovery is with my relationship to the people who make the island of Sri Lanka beautiful. When I set out to make this documentary, I thought that I was going to help better the lives of these girls by giving them a voice. What I realize now is that my preconceived notions were speaking for them. I made assumptions just as many have in the past. These girls are some of the most kind, driven, and happy people that I have ever met, and their sense of clarity made me call to question everything that I assumed in the past. I thought that I was going there to give them a voice, but it turns out they ended up helping me to find mine. I thought that my journey was over after I left Sri Lanka, but I now understand that this is just the beginning.